guys, it's Lane again with Crafty Life Mom. I am back again with another planning video. I know I've had a couple of these lately and it's just because it's that time of year, it's summer, and I work on like that academic kind of year. I am a teacher. Um, my kids are out for the summer and so this is the kind of time where schedules are kind of a little more lax. And so for me, it's kind of like my reset time. Um, whereas in January, we're still kind of like rolling, right? With all of those schedules and everything. And so um, I always start a new planner in July. Um, I always have that academic type of year versus a January to December type of planner. And if you can tell by my videos that I've done, I've been an Erin Condren person. Um, I recently went back to Erin Condren for this upcoming year. And so I kind of went a little crazy with the planner stuff. And part of it is because it's my organization thought processes, um, working now as a teacher, still sharing content with you guys creatively, being a mom, all the things that have to do with time and scheduling. Um, I have a couple different things that I'm going to incorporate and use together. I've mentioned this before in another video where I saw someone um, when it was Erin Condren's launch week where they said that they sticker their entire planner um, for the year in advance. I know that sounds very crazy, but then it's done and they don't have to do it. So when she said that, and I cannot remember for the life of me who that was, it kind of got me thinking, you know, that's not a bad idea. And if you look on Etsy and just search like the monthly views, or you could probably get, you know, stickers that you can download and print and cut yourself. You could even buy enough stickers out there to do a weekly kit if you did weekly. Um, in your entire planner for the year. Now, it's very expensive probably to do that all up front, not once, but for the monthly view, there's only 12 months in the year. And so I thought it would be fun to definitely go ahead and do all 12 months on the monthly pages of my Erin Condren um, daily duo. So um, that's what I purchased as my working daily, like sort of checklist planner and because I honestly don't plan to like sit down and plan five days or seven days of my week um, at a time in this planner I plan to use it like a daily planner where you know might know like today and then you know tomorrow or something like that but I don't plan to do like the whole week. So just to kind of give you an idea, here's the monthly spread, right? And then this planner, it has a little bit of planning uh, sheets for the month, and then it has your daily um, sheets. So each day is on a sheet, whereas if you have a weekly one, the whole week is on a spread. And because it is a daily planner, the way Erin Condren's is set up is you get two books. So you get the first six months in the first book, so this one goes July through December, which is perfect because, like I said, as a teacher that, um, you know, is working and then like we have that two week kind of reset, right? At the end of the year, it will be nice to finish this book and still kind of have that fresh new planner vibe, have, you know, feel, I guess, but it's really not. It's the other half of my year. So, um, totally thinking that this is going to be the way for me. And I like the size of this. Um, it's the A5 size. And so the monthly boxes are a little smaller than what I was currently working with, which was like the full size, like, you know, an eight and a half by 11 type. Um, and it's smaller than the Erin Condren. Just to compare, I have one here. Um, this is this, the normal planner. Like This is the original that she came out with. This is a weekly one. So here's the monthly spread here. And then there's the month there. So this one is definitely bigger, right? So the boxes are smaller. 
But this one, same two planning sheets as this one, okay? Smaller version, but like I said, this is the daily. This is the weekly view. So if you like to see your whole week out in advance um, and have it like laid out and you don't need as much room, you can do that. Now I have used this in the past and I still may go back to this system because this has worked for me in the past for a very long time since I first discovered Erin Condren. I think, I don't even know what year, 2013 or 14 maybe, I don't know. Um, this was the original planner. And so this has worked for me for a very long time. I have used these three boxes multiple ways. I've done today, afternoon, evening. I have done, you know, personal, family, kids, uh, blog. Like I've done all kinds of different ways for these boxes. And so this has worked for me, but what I was finding was this was not enough room for my day. So, if I go back to this planner, and I will keep you guys posted, I will um, let you know, but this one, I still may do like my month, like I still may decorate my month and kind of get a feel of like, okay, this is what we have going on, but use this rather as a family planner. My husband is definitely a digital planner, but he has things that he has to do for his work. And so like, I would probably have him, me, and then the kids and like leave this planner at home, um, which is great. It's a kind of high level overview for the week, but it's not perfect for me as far as like my daily dues or daily checklist. So while I love this system, I'm not sure that it's everything for me. That is why I purchased the Daily Duo because I could look at something like the weekly one or just look at my month and be like, hey, you got this going on, this for this kid, you know, whatever, and then have my own personal to-do list here. I can take this with me on the go, check it off. It's small, it's lightweight, it's for going, in my opinion, right? The go, go, go schedule, that's why I got this. So. Um, this is going to be like one of those where it's like a cute pin only kind of thing. And I don't plan to really sticker these pages, but I want to go ahead and sticker the months, right? Because I want a little bit of fun in my planner. So that's what we're doing today. We are going to sticker up all of the months in my daily do and I'm going to do the whole year and I pre-purchased from this Etsy shop um Boulder Bond you can see that there Boulder Bond um the entire month and I told her I was going to make this video and so she threw in a few extras for me um but I basically have all 12 months here now just so you know I still have these Erin Condren sticker books that I purchased um I don't know that I'm gonna use any of these in here for the months, but there's definitely some great, you know, like stickers that you could put throughout like your daily pages. I just wanted to show these really quick because the person who kind of gave me this idea to do the whole month or do the whole year um, in advance, she used this book. This is edition number seven, which is the monthly book. I showed this one in a little bit better detail, um, but it has like a month, it has 12 pages, right? And so it has a month on every page and you could just have a little sprinkle of your stickers um, on your months. And so you still have a little something if you're not a big sticker person. And I love this, I do like this and I do plan to use these, um, but I like a little bit more razz or daz or whatever you wanna call it for my months. Um, I like to use a monthly kit. It's probably one of my favorite ways to use stickers in a planner. So that's why I pre-purchased these monthly sets. So I have all of these from Boulder Bond that we're gonna use. And I just love this heart map here. Being a teacher that teaches um, reading and social studies, I love that. Um, and then these are really great too. These might actually work in something, yep, I knew it, like this here. So how fun is that? You could slide these around even or cover 
one of these up. I love that. I bet she, I think she has kits for these money, uh, these planning pages. And I do intend to use these for like my content planning pages and just things that I need to focus on. But I don't know. I will definitely show that since I'm not sure how I'm going to 100% use these two pages. Um, I'm still working on that. I'm not stickering that. I am only stickering today the monthly spreads for the entire year. And so I'm going to move those little extra goodies out of the way. So let me put this off to the side here. This is the July spread. Right? And so I am using this little gadget, by the way. I will link this down below. It's a cute little tweezer holder. Um, could totally keep your little pages in here, you know, little tweezers in here. You can keep a pen in this little guy, so it's perfect. Um, so here's what I'm looking at for the month, right? And I'm going to, I need to get better at doing it with a tweezer. Get these up. And we are going to sticker this entire Okay, everybody, so I am back. It has been an actual couple of days. Um, I had to stop in the middle of putting all of my stickers in and do something with my kids, and when I was able to come back to it, it was an actual couple of days later. So I am back. I am done stickering the entire thing. It really didn't take me that long. I just had to have a break in between, run and do something with my kids, and so... It's been a couple of days, but it did not necessarily take days. It maybe be, took about an hour at most to go through and sticker the entire month. So I just want to flip through and show you um, what it looks like. And this is the Daily Duo. And again, I did both books. So I'm going to put this one to the side. This is the first one, which is starting in a couple of weeks. This starts with July. And so here is the July spread. And I went ahead and put my bookmark in. And then here is August, which is very cute and very um, simple. And I love the color schemes with this entire set. Boulder Bond does such a really good job with that. September, which it's like a little bit more warm uh, colors, but it's trending into the fall months. And I absolutely love that. Here is, um, also, okay, so October, for some reason, as I was going through, I didn't have October, so I'm going to have to go back and get October, um, but you can kind of see, look, stickered versus not stickered. I just feel like this is not as exciting, right, to plan as something like simple headers and uh, date covers are, so... Just that kind of shows you the difference there. Uh, let's take a look at November. I love November. I love the colors here, the fall colors, but again, it's not too dark and it's kind of lot lively a little bit. It's got a little bit of the pink in there that I love. And then of course, here's December, um, which is where this book ends. And then we move over to the new book uh, at the at the new year. So 2023, we move into January 
and I absolutely love this. I love the clock. I love the Happy New Year. And then here is a look at February, which is really beautiful. I love the pink. I love the gold in here with the flowers. March, springtime, again, that pink is there. The birds and these flowers is beautiful. April. And then here is a look at May which I love May. I said that earlier, that this simple, like serene, muted tone colors, relaxing. This is my anniversary month, so I absolutely love this. It's like a wedding vibe to me. Um, I just love that one. And then here is June, where the year ends, which has got the sun again, and the water, just like vacation mode. Absolutely love that. So one thing I did do was I kept the entire set of stickers um, that I did not use. So you can see like um, there's a little bit of washi and some of the um, date covers or important dates. And the reason I did this is so that as I go through my months and plan, I will have a sticker to be like, oh, let me mark, you know, like our anniversary for the one that's um, in May or whatever. And I kept the months within the book that it is. And then as you know, Erin Condren also has a few sticker sheets in the back. And so for me, for taking a book on the go, like I said, this is gonna be my daily, like to do checklist kind of planner. Um, I don't feel like I'm gonna need much more stickers than this. I may add a few in the days, like here and there, but like I said, I, I plan to keep this strictly the pin um, kind of checklist thing, just blocking out what I have to do each day. And then in my weekly planner, I'll kind of do like a high level overview, but this book will be my book that I take back and forth with me. That's the plan anyway. So we are getting close to July. I'm just going to give you a look at July again. I went ahead and I bookmarked it for the month. So I plan to transfer this every month and then I'm going to bookmark the day that I'm on so that I can easily find where I'm working. So this starts on a Friday and I will keep you guys posted on how this system actually works for me. So until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day and happy planning.